Welcome to another episode of the Tire Talk podcast. My name is Fernando Herrera. And in today's video, we are going to be talking to two individuals running the largest tire shop in Texas. Both of these guys are extremely knowledgeable and they share with us some valuable tips uh, that could make people uh, who are looking into getting into wholesale or tire shops uh, or in general in the tire business uh, succeed. So if you're looking for these types of tips, again, both Fernando and Miguel are extremely knowledgeable. Fernando is the director of Tires Home, it, again, like I said, the largest tire shop in Vegas. And Miguel is actually a director in sales for Anat, which is their wholesale division. Uh, I, again, I can't thank enough both Fernando and Miguel for giving me the hospitality they gave me. I also want to thank Tirebase, our sponsor of this video, your go-to POS or shop management system. Whether you're a tire shop or a tire wholesaler, trust me, we're building the software uh, for your needs. And so if you want to check out Tirebase, feel free to click on the link below. But without further ado, guys, uh, I hope you enjoy this video and I present to you uh, Tires Home. Enjoy. Uh... Miguel, how did you end up in the tire business in Dallas? It's a very funny history. Um, I was working for another company in Mexico, and uh, I was a little tired about that because it was a, a not really good job. And uh, and, I, and, I, and I and I and at that time I was looking for another opportunity. And some some. Uh, at one point, somebody contacted me by email and uh, we are interested about your, your profile. We are a tire uh, distributor. I would like to, to, to know if you have time to, to an interview. But I didn't know anything about that company. It was Tire Direct. And I, I, I get like, a, it's a little weird, a uh, small company. I work for a huge company in Mexico. Um, and then, well, I get like not really... Uh, comfortable with the offer yeah and at some point well I contact the, the the commercial director and we had an interview and okay a month later they contact me again and they told me hey we are going to pay your your flight to to our headquarter to take a to, to have an interview and I, I, my mind changed totally they are paying my flight uh, mm. probably it's a little interesting yeah. And that's the reason that I started in the business, in the tire industry. So a flight ticket. A flight sold ticket. You. <laughs> yeah. If, if it would have been bus, no? Sorry? If they would have said bus tickets, no airplane No, 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 no exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was very, very interesting. So then, uh, okay, so then you got hired by Tire Direct and they opened their branch here in Dallas and then you were brought over to... No, no, no. Well, the, 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 the history was that they, they hired me for the Mexico office, uh, the tire Mexico office, the tire direct Mexico office, because the the headquarter it's it's based in Leon, Guanajuato, mm -hmm. in the middle of the country, but they don't have any any offices or any presence uh, physically in, in Mexico City, the, the biggest city in Mexico. So they decided to open a commercial office, and we started with them okay. to 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 cover that part of the of the market. All right. Then, I, I think that we, we need to, to talk with Fernando about how, how the Dallas business started, because at what point I, <laughs> I raised my hand, I think that Dallas, it's a, because I started the, the, Dallas, the Dallas company, and I raised my hand, hey, I will be interested to help you. Okay, come on. <laughs> Fernando, we share the same name, guys, but nice. um, and in Spanish, we call them tocayos. Right? Yes, that's so, right. So, Tokayo, tell us how you started here. Well, first, uh, thank you. Thank you, Fernando, mm -hmm. for, for this podcast. Thank you for being here. Thank it's you. a pleasure to, to us to have you here. You know? Really, it's a incredible all the things that you are doing in the, in the media, in the digital marketing, and in the tire, tire market, too. So, thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. and thank you. Thank you for being part of, to, of your interviews. Well, I, I was, uh, I am an engineer, an electronic engineer, no? so I all, all my life was in the, in the engineer, in the telecommunication sectors. I was more focused in the telecommunication sectors. I arrived to the, to the United States with the Televisa, Televisa company. I was the, the manager of the 
of the telecommunication company of Televisa that is that's still here in the in the United States, and I was living here since uh, 13 years ago. Uh, one day, Gonzalo Gonzalo Santa Marina, that is the is the um, uh, president of Tiger Direct Mexico, and he's my cousin. He his father and my mother are, are brothers or siblings. Okay. So Gonzalo called me and told me, okay, I was thinking to start something in the United States. Would you like to, to, to work with me? And that's the, the way I, I started with, uh, with him here, no? Oh. Really, Gonzalo is, uh, is brilliant, no? He's a very, very, very good business. Uh, Businessman, no, he's uh, he's so smart. He's uh, he's very very intelligent. So uh, it was easy to start working uh, uh, with him in this in this business, no. So we try to start with uh, something small, no, but at the end we we finish with with all of this, no. Yeah. Uh, it's a a challenge because we start very big, no. Yeah. We, we we don't start as a lot of yeah. business that are with a small with a small business and, and start growing. We start with a very big uh, business, so we need to operate to to mm -hmm. operate all of these business, no? And it it, it was uh, great to to see how how it's, it's moving, no? How we are finding different customers. The market in the United States is different than the market in, in Mexico, no? Mm -hmm. Here is a lot of competence. Here yeah. is a lot of competence. No, uh, there are um, there are very big big guys in yeah. everywhere. No, they uh, deliver the tires every day. One tires, and sometimes the price is is, is, is so good. So there are some challenge in, in that. No, but really with the support of Mexico, no, with the with the vision of uh, of Gonzalo. We are we are working and we are we are growing. No? We have now customers in all or, or, or in all United States. We have in the east, in the in the in the two coasts. We have in the in Texas. We have a, a lot. We have in the south of the country a lot of a lot of uh, customers too. Uh, that's the uh, as you remember we we met uh, yeah. uh, when, when, we, when we try to. To find a new customer in Las Vegas, no, yeah, we met yeah. you and your, and your father. It was great to to meet with with you and to start to start doing business, no. And this is the way that we we are trying to to grow here in the United States. And so, I mean, you came in then from a different industry. Was it hard to adapt into the tire industry, or did you already have a good understanding of the tire industry? No, it was really new, new for me, and no, it's not, it's not difficult. No, really, the I I have a very good uh, teacher that was Gonzalo, no Miguel <laughs> here that really uh, teach me a lot too because he has m much more experience that, that that I that I had, and and with the with their vision, their all, all the the experience that they had. It was easy to to move it in the into the sector. Nice, nice. And Miguel, you said then you learned your tire experience in Mexico, and yeah. so w when you came here, you already knew the ins and outs of the business. No, no, I I, I learned from from Tire Direct. Actually, yeah, they they bring me a good opportunity because for me, uh, as Fernando mentioned, for me it was uh, a new industry too. So I have just three more years of experience than him, but <laughs> I started from, from zero. And I remember that, that uh, well, when I, when I looked the first time the, the, the warehouse in Mexico, I mean, wow, what is the difference of that size and that other size and all are round yeah. and black. Yeah, look the same. Exactly, so it, it's very interesting. And, and, and I was wondering to, 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 to start in an industry that, that a, dyna a dynamic industry and the tires, you already know, right. it's very dynamic. Yeah. And that's the, yeah, that's the way that I started in the business. I guess we're gonna focus more on, I know you guys have Tires Home, which we did a tour, guys, by the way, if you, we, 
this podcast is going to be released first, but next week we, we're going to be releasing two videos. So we actually are doing a special location with, with these guys here because they have a, a tires home, which is a completely separate entity, and it's a front-facing retail business. And then Nat. Is it pronounced Nat or Nate? Nat. Or it doesn't matter. It's North America Tire Trader. Exactly. Okay. And you guys like to, for it to be called Nat? Yep, Nat. Okay. So Nat. So... And that is the wholesale division, but it's all under one roof. And so we're going to be having those two videos. Definitely want to check them out. But um, I think for, for our viewers, I think we've, we'll find a little more focus on, on the wholesale side. I think we could focus a little more on the wholesale side. Uh, how, when coming in, because you guys are fairly fresh. You're a brand new player. You, like you said, there's a lot of players on the market. You got, you know, ATD. Uh, Salar and Tire, Mark K and M. There's there's a whole bunch of distributors, retail, big players. How can you compete uh, against those those players? Well, really, uh, how we can compete is with two things. No, one is service. No, service and 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 price. No, we try to have the the, the better price for our customers, but more the service. No, if we have a good service then we can compete with the, with, the, with the competence. And this is one thing that we try to do with all our customers, no? We have the B2B programs, no? They have all the information there. We have a very easy way to, to have all the information for our customers. Uh, and and this, is, this is the, the way we are uh, thinking that that is the way to, to grow our, our customers here. No? And I... I... Well, I, I think that probably they have, they are huge companies. They have super price in the market. And, and it's, it's a reality that sometimes you cannot compete with some prices. The service, it's a, a, as, as Fernando mentioned, the service is a very important factor, but the price is the same as well. So what would you though so, say the service? What, what is that no, service? You I, I mentioned, for example, um, they're, they're, they're here in, in, in Texas, uh, there is a lot of, of uh, Hispanic people in the tire industry. So over, I, I speak Spanish, I'm from Mexico. So they, they, they feel more comfortable with, with the same culture mindset. Yeah, yeah. So there's like a that. niche there then. Exactly. Echo. So you guys are, are approaching, uh, uh, I guess, approaching the customer with their own, where, where the customer feels more at home. Exactly. And at this point, we're, we're yeah. targeting Spanish or Latino. Yeah. Okay, that's actually, and it's growing. It's a big market, so it's not a bad market yeah. to focus on. And, 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 as I, and I want to, to, to put this in, 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 the, in the table that probably the, the other super companies, they have a, a super price in some products, but not in all the products. That's, that's the, the, the window for us. We can offer some, some good sizes. And for example, if the customer wants, I don't know, a specific size and the huge company they don't have, we have it. Okay. So we, we, I think that we are getting advantage of that part, the over, over variety of sizes and, and the, the brand that we have right now. And so, and I'll start with you, Fernando. Um, I know we kind of spoke briefly, but can you tell us what's your role in the company and what is a typical day for you? Like, what is a typical day of what you do in, in a day? Well, uh, I am in charge of, uh, of everything. No, I am the, the director of the, of the facility, so I, I, need to, I need to see that everything is running, uh, it's running every day, no? So I have a, a manager in the, in the store. We have a manager in the store, we have a manager in the warehouse, and we have the, the sales, the sales uh, uh, people here. No, but I, I, I need to be to to be in focus on the that all the all these areas are, are, are working. No, so I need to check all the drop shipments every day. No, that all the all the orders go out. I need that to all, all the payments, all the services. Uh, we need to to talk a, a lot with Mexico because all the all the purchase programs. Are made in, in Mexico, no? With the with the people in Mexico, because there is the the, the, the purchase team is there. So uh, Miguel tell, works a lot with them to see what which are the sizes that we needed, what what is the the way that we needed, the prices that we needed. No, we we 
we talk about, uh, we talk a lot with the, uh, with the information of the competence, no? with we see the competence, we see the prices, and we see how, how we are going to, to approach this or how yeah. we are going to, to be successful with this competence, with these prices. No? So we need to, to understand all of these things and try to have, to have the better deals for, the, for our customers. No? And so the purchasing team is in Mexico, you said? So if you guys are looking to, let's say, 205, 55, 16, you need more uh, of a Bridgestone or a Tier 3 tire, the, you have to coordinate that with your team in Mexico, and then they'll they'll look around factories around the world and, and purchase them. Yeah, for the wholesale, no? for, for the wholesale. retail, if a customer needs a, uh, a, a set or things like that, we buy it directly here locally. ATD tire, yes, however, or some of uh, of them. But for the wholesale, yes, they they made all the purchases. Okay, and then what about you, Miguel? What is your role in the company, and what is a typical day for you? Well, I need to get the customers. That's good, yeah. man. With yeah. no customer, that's a tough job. Let yeah. me tell you that. It's not it's as very, easy. It's very hard. And, and it's very, I really like my job because it's, it's, it's for example, yesterday I, I visited a, a, a business in a town close to the Metroplex of Dallas. It's called Mejia. And it's a, it's a small tire shop. It's like a middle tire shop and, and tire distributor. Mm -hmm. But it, I, I, I get curious because it, I've, I, uh, there, there were uh, very old men, the oldest men that I've been in my life, <laughs> but working in the tire shop with uh, a, I don't know how to say in Spanish, in English, like, baston. Oh, with a cane? Exactly. Oh, wow. And he moved one tire and then the cane, and I get, yeah. wow, wonderful. I don't know his history, but... My, my, my all respect for, for, for him. It, and it's interesting to, to when, when I visit the, the customers, uh, I always get surprised for something. You always get to appreciate how the, they do or how are they creative. And, exactly. And, yeah, I, I agree with that. So it's, it's very nice. Or for example, the, the, the first time that I visited some customers in Las Vegas, it's, I didn't know that, but it's, it, it's crazy, the, 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 all the Hispanic people that it, yeah. there is in, the, in Las Vegas. For example, I, I didn't yeah. I didn't imagine that. Or the tacos you mentioned yeah. earlier. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was telling me that he went to a tire shop and that there was a taco stand and that it was really good. Yeah, but, uh, we need to visit them. So how do you how do you though? Um, you have no customers. You just started, like, and then they tell you, "Hey, get me some customers." Like, how how do you do that? Well, uh, at the beginning, we started with with some customers, right? We 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 okay. previously tell you direct. Exactly. We had okay. some customers before, and we start serving those customers. But all the new customers is a yes, it's a, a very good job from from Miguel. Yeah. It's it's a difficult as, as as we talk about it, but he's making a, a great job and and, and and doing a very good doing a job, working and visiting and and. and and really making a relation with that, so we have yeah. the relation and we can have them as a customer. Very important. Yeah, it's important to mention that that's part of, I think it's that, that was a part of the, of the reason that we started the business here formally with a warehouse, with a location, because in the past, Tire Direct used to do like a trading market. So they, 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 Tire Direct sell, sold directly some, some deals to the US but you know, short deals. Okay. And, and, and I think that that's the reason that Gonzalo uh, took a, a, a full vision. Oh, the United States, it's a huge market. So we need to, to establish our business there. And, and, and we, I got uh, like a, some customers, hey, visit them and try to do something and, and get more. <laughs> Yeah. My first, my first uh, approach to the, U to the U.S. market literally was, okay, Google Maps, tire distributors. Mm, okay, I'm going to visit you and you and you. <laughs> and when you visit someone, uh, t walk us through. Like, tell us, what do you do? You go, you drive. Yeah, exactly. You call. I dr I, 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 in Mexico, I used to drive and you can stop by the business and, hey, I'm, I represent this company and... I'm looking for some customers. I offer these. Take a look to our prices. And here is a little different because here is more formal. 
So really? you need to, to do appointments or yeah. whatever. Really? It's not easy. It's not that easy to, to get the, the, the decision maker. Exactly. So when you, do you ever arrive to a store and then it's, they're busy and they're like, just come back later, man, exactly. or whatever. So and it's understandable because yeah. you, they, they need to, to, to grow in their business. Mm -hmm. So they don't want to spend time with a guy that is offering tires when they are selling tires. I understand. So that's the, the, one of the differences. So how, how have you, I mean, Fernando just mentioned you do a really good job. So what's your secret? Is a good personality. Thank you. As a smile, handsome. Like, <laughs> what, what's the secret so we can tell these guys like, gotta start. Like, we... no, I, I I think it's the knowledge, the knowledge that he has of the of the market, of the size of the products that we have. No, because the really the customers what they they like is somebody who understand the business, understand what they needed, and they can uh, receive exactly what they need, no? And this is uh, one thing that maybe Miguel, Miguel made and is, is good, no? Uh, by phone or by email, it's very hard to, to open new customers because you receive hundreds of calls every day and you don't answer, no? And uh, the, the same with the email, no? We have a lot of, a lot of uh, emails asking for, for vendors and things like that, so. Uh, I think it's important to have the, that relation. That's why it's important to visit the, the customers, to know, to know each other. And after that, you can continue the, the, the business by phone or by email. But in the first times, it's important to do that. No? So you guys, would much rather, you guys would much rather focus than if you had 50 tire shops or tire distributors, you make the time to go visit each one of them in person and then continue following up on email, then rather just a thousand emails and a thousand phones? You think you would be much more successful? Well, we, we send emails to, we, we do both, no? I we, think it's a combination, send, right? We send to, the, to, to, every, uh, to every, everybody the information, the inventory and everything, but it's better when you visit them, you start making the relation, you start understanding what the, their needs are, and then we can, we can make this this uh, this relation and start growing the business with them yeah, and it's important because you you put an image you put a face under the email that you sent yeah and and then, hey i sent you an email last week from from what from from north america tire trailer oh, okay yes i received it but i didn't uh, see uh, so more details but yeah I, I look at you and i maybe i'm going to remember you so then, would you start by sending an email or phone, or would you try to approach yeah, them first in person? Right now, I, I think that the, the best approach is to, to, to schedule some appointments. Okay. And but mainly with, with the customers that you didn't know nothing. Okay. So you don't know anybody, you go to Google search, uh -huh. you start calling people, hey, I found you on Google. Can we meet or can we talk? Yeah, exactly. Can like we talk? That? I would like to, 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 to talk with the purchase manager or the people in charge, whatever. Uh, what is the, the email to send some information? I, I, I introduce. Are they normally very accepting or are they like, I have enough vendors I don't want? You have both. <laughs> the, okay. other, the other day I visited, uh, in the way to Oklahoma, I visited a, a business, a huge tire shop, discount something tire. And I try, try, you know, with my best smile, and, hey, how are you, my friend? I'm trying to scrub in opportunities. And honestly, I didn't understand very well something in English. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> At the end, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not interested to buy something, anything from you. Don't, don't waste my time. Don't waste your time. Something else. Something else. Oh, uh, yeah, thank yeah. you. Bye. <laughs> and yeah. next. Yeah. That's one of the challenges that you find in the in the in the and unfortunately I think it's very um, and I think some people could see that as rude I mean I understand that coming from Mexico and Mexico would see that as very rude but then sometimes you know coming from the American culture as well sometimes I could see that as direct as yep. look I'm helping you out man I don't want anything from you don't waste your time don't waste my time and we're all good uh, and that's kind of hard sometimes uh, I can see that you know I completely understand <laughs> 
And a lot of our viewers, again, are, are smaller wholesalers. They're, they're you know, trying to buy one container and sell in their town, sell in their city. And, and it's important for them to understand that it's not always just pick up the phone and yeah. start selling. You know, it, it, how long has it taken you guys to, to create these relationships? Because personal experience, and again, I've mentioned this story before, but with Hertz, Hertz Rental, the rental cars in mm -hmm. Las Vegas, mm -hmm. um, I would visit them every single week, every week with donuts. Hey, hello, uh, I want to sell you tires and tires. I'm like, no, 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 we only buy the big guys, the ATDs and tire hubs and U.S. Auto Force. No, 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 but I'm local and I can give you better service and better price. I'm like, no, no, no. I did that for one year. Just keep going, keep going. Until one day, one guy decided and even never seen him, but he said, hey, who are you? Like, oh, well, I'm Fernando from North Tires. I'm like, oh, well, I always see you here. Like, what, what are you doing? Like, why you always come? Like, well, I'm trying to sell tires. And he's like, and have we bought tires? And I was like, no. And, and you keep coming. And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, okay, tomorrow you'll get an order. Just make sure we get it, okay? And then I was like, yeah, no problem. And then the next day, about 100 tires. Wow. Then the next day, 150. Then it was like that for a year. Every day, they would just buy 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. And I was just like, it took me one year. But, you know, sometimes you never see that until you, you get there. And yep. I don't know, honestly, at this point, I don't know why I kept going. I, I guess I just liked going and saying I'm visiting Hertz. But uh, do you have any stories like that where you could say, like, you know, it, it takes time for these relationships to form. Yeah, yeah. I remember one, one customer in Austin. I don't want to mention the name. No, no, no. <laughs> That's fine, fine. No, no, no need to worry. I remember when I visited them, uh, they have a, they are very, very American people. Mm -hmm. uh, and probably I didn't mention, but one of my first challenges here in the, in the industry in the U.S. was the, the language. So, you need to be confident in the sales process, even in Spanish, in English, or, yeah. or Portuguese, whatever is your language. <laughs> and when you start to, to sell in, in a language that you are not confident, it's too complicated. Yeah. So that was my first challenge here in the, in the, in the industry. I think that I did the, 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 the next step of that. So uh, but at the beginning, I visited this, this tire distributor in Austin, and why, why are you offering me? Well, I'm offering tires. I get a better price. Yes, but these tires from Mexico, we are the, huge, the, the best, the largest distributor in, in Mexico. Yes, but I, I get a better price. The, the second visit, the third visit, the fourth visit. Are you interested in something? Uh, I have these, these sizes in the special, let me know. Mm, what do you have in, yeah, and he started to ask me, uh, okay, I have this and this. Okay, can I order less than, like a small order? Sure, I, 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 I need some, some time to complete a load and deliver to you. Okay, keep me post, I, I, I will order more. And we are, from almost two months, we are delivering every week. Nice. Some some tires. So it took it takes time. Yep. Yeah, of course. Time oh. and 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 you, you you don't need you, it's not. You cannot take personal. All the it's business. Yeah. So it's uh, that's my advice. Now, Fernando, for you, I know. Overseeing everything, you know, a lot of people might see. You know, oh well, there's no specific outcome like sales or anything, but dealing with everything and everything at once, it's difficult. Uh, how do you manage your time and how do you manage your employees so that they are successful? Well, I am very involved in all the operation, no? so I think this is one, and maybe this, I spend a lot of time on of that, no? but I, I, I try to understand all the processes, all the things, and, and be involved in that to be sure that everything it's, it's going on time, no? because it's part of the service that we need to, to really have successful with our customers. No? So uh, we, we are here to, 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 to do that, to help, to, to resolve everything that is, uh, that's happened here. No? Every, what's, uh, what, it, what it means, no? if uh, yeah. Miguel has an, an issue or 
or Canelo, as they, we, we know, yeah. downstairs, or, or the internet, or everything. No, we need to, we need to, be, to, to be careful of everything so the customers can have the service on time and we, we can resolve that to, to them. No? Is there air conditioning of win in winter? <laughs> uh, it's, a, a, it's a big facility, it's a big operation, and, and we are a few people, no? because we want to continue uh, offering the, the, best, the best deal for our customers, so that's, that's why we, we are a, a small operation. This is what we can be competitive with the largest companies, no? yeah. maybe our, our overhead is, is smaller than then, and that's why we can give better opportunities. I still want to touch on that topic, Fernando. Do you think you have a good relationship with your employees at this time? Do you think it's a positive relationship? Yes, yes, no. I, <laughs> yes, I think so. I, what secrets can you share for a, an owner or a person who's struggling to keep that relationship strong? Uh, well, I think one important thing is to be involved in what they do, understand the, the, their works. No? So you can be, uh, you have empathy with them of what they are doing, what, what is something that we can do or we cannot do. No? Uh, it's a challenge here, I don't know in other places that, that you visit, or, but it's a very big challenge here, the people, to find the, the right yeah, people. Always man. <laughs> yes, no, it's a... Very high turnover in certain positions that it's very tough to operate sometimes. Exactly, so it's, it's totally different than in Mexico. In Mexico, if there are... Beautiful. A lot of a, a lot of job a, a lot of jobs a lot of opportunities. We we really uh, have a, a hard time to find the, the people. So when we have these people, uh, we try to make really a a good team, no, as a family. We are not here as like a boss and the, and the employee. No, we are like a a team. We are all together working, and I think that's the the, the way we can we can grow. We can have the operation run. And that's the same culture in the Mexico company yeah. as, as a part of, of the Mexico company because I, I'm here because I was working in the entire day. I can, I can tell you that it's, a, it's the same culture. The, the, this teamwork, this every, everybody is, is, is known about the, the other. If something goes wrong with, with, my, with my partner, oh, what happened? Oh, it's because something in my house or, oh yeah, no problem, we are with you. It's, yeah. it's a very, a very cozy. Cozy? Cozy, mm -hmm. cozy exactly. Okay. Hmm. Makes me think. <laughs> I think uh, you touched on a very good point. In Mexico, um, we opened a call center about two years ago. It's a very small call center, one or two people. And now we have engineers for Tire Bay. So all of our engineering is in, in Mexico. But the turnover is incredible. Every employee we've had, we've only had to let go one person due to performance, but everyone else just, it's so reliable, so consistent. People just, if you pay them good and you take care of them, they'll stay for there. Like, and it, here, you can pay them good, you could give them brownies every day, you could give them massages every day, you could train them, and it's very, very hard. At least right now, or at least in Vegas, I share that thought. Like, with retail space, especially the, the sales, like front desk, service advisors, Sometimes technicians or mechanics, like it's very, very, very difficult to find and keep. Um, uh, have you guys found anything other than you know treating them as family that that works? Maybe like specific tactics or benefits or something that you guys feel have worked? Well, we try to give the the, the same benefits that the that the sectors, uh, but but it's 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 a uh, it's a challenge. No, it's a challenge at the uh, same as you uh, as you said. No really is a challenge the, the, the people. So we try to find it, we try to 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 work with, with, with them to to be a, a really a team and stay and, and stay together. Okay. Now tell me more about guys what happens when a customer buys a tire um, and we'll touch both maybe tires homes process and, and but let's start with Matt um, with the warranties. Let's say tires bad. What happens? How do you start? Well, right now, honestly, I don't have too many claims of that. Uh, I received a couple of weeks just two tires that something is wrong with the, something with the with the belt, and, and 
It's very easy. It's very rare. So in yeah, the wholesale side, it's very, very rare. Very, yeah. very but what about retail? I know you guys have in Tires Home like a protection plan for your consumer. Yes. How does all, how that all work? No, the, the, really, it's, it's very easy, you know, because if the customer buy the, the, the protection, they come here and they have any issue, because it's a, with any issue of the tire, we change the tire and they only pay the, the use that they have, you know. If it's less than 25%, uh, we change for an, a new one. But if it's more than 25, they only pay the, the, the use and we give a new a new tire to them. It's like prorated, pretty it's much. It's like prorated. But really, we don't have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, warranty problems. No? One of the things that we try to to focus is on the quality of the tires that we sell. So we have a, a, a very good quality. So we don't have really, really a lot of issues of that. And what would you guys say it's the goal of and again, I'll start with Tires Home. Um, what's the goal? What's the purpose for the next years to come for Tires Home? Are you guys thinking more locations, different states? Uh, and again, specifically for Tires Home, and then if you guys want to touch base on Nat as mm -hmm. well, uh, go ahead. Yes, this is the, 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 in the beginning, the, the idea is to open more, more like a, maybe like a franchise or something yeah. like that in different parts, but we need to we need to understand perfectly all the all the process and, and, and everything to grow the 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 shop and after that then we can decide if we can go in another in another in another way no? now the idea is to continue growing with this one uh, to continue to having uh, happy our customers that the people focus. come back focus on, on that uh, I think what one good thing is a lot of the people who come, uh, they return again with the, with us. So this is a a, a good thing, you know. The the reviews that we have are very good too. So they continue growing on, on that, and after that we will decide if we want to do something a bit different in that sector. I saw the showroom. I mean, the show. You guys. You guys are selling tires, but it looks like a bar, like an arcade almost. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Foosball and air hockey. Where did that idea come from? Who who came up with that? Well, the the idea comes from uh, from Gonzalo, as I as I told you. He really he, he's really really brilliant in, in to to do the, the business and 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 make uh, different ideas of the, of the business. He has a lot of experience. He started with the tire since he was a, a, a baby, you know, because his father has a tire shops in, in, okay. in Mexico. So he grew with the with the tires. So he has a lot of experience of how to how to do that. So, so really, all, all all the ideas and and everything was from him. And I guess, uh, and I'll be taking notes, man. Here, uh, but what about? What about Nat? Um, what's the goal for Nat? What, what's the future for Nat? Right now, I think that the future of our uh, of our distributor um, company it's to to get well. At first, we, we we were we were getting customers in the the whole states, so we we, we were contacting uh, customers from from east and west coast. And, and we we saw that we are um, how can I say descuidar or um, that we are oh man I forgot that, that word. <laughs> yeah like you're not <laughs> paying good attention exactly we're not, not pay, exact that <clears throat> we are not paying good attention in the in the medium wholesale around Dallas okay not not exactly Dallas Metroplex because in Dallas it's Very it's I think it's a hub of tires. Yeah. That's Miami or, or Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's uh, tough. Dallas, it's, it's uh, another hub of tires. Uh, but we are, we are not paying good attention in the, in the yeah, in the, the small towns around Dallas, around Austin, around Houston. And we are, uh, we are focused right now to, to, to explore something there, to, to, to ship tires daily or, or, or twice or, or three times per week. And, and, and keep growing with the with our containers program with our hu uh, biggest customers. We have customers as, as Fernando mentioned. Uh, we have customers in, in New York, 
in Pennsylvania, in, in North Carolina, in Atlanta, Georgia, in Florida, in Oklahoma, in, in Arizona, in Vegas, mm -hmm. in Los Angeles, in the Northern California, Fresno. Stockton. But so then do you guys see yourself opening multiple warehouses at this point or is it just going to be for now one central right hub? Right now we are we are sharing the same strategy of Mexico because, because in Mexico we have just one, one warehouse. Uh, well, a couple of warehouses, but uh, they are focusing in one town. And it's, it's uh, centralized. And they, they, we, we shipped all of our merchandise from, from here. Directly from that warehouse. Exactly. So the goal would be the same thing, pretty much. Instead of having five warehouses across the nation, you, everything goes into our hub in Dallas, and everything comes out from our hub in Dallas. Yep. Does that... And, and, and from Mexico directly, because we have a mm. big warehouse in New Mexico, and some places okay, are, are easy to, to arrive from Mexico than from directly. In, in exactly. other places. So the idea is to continue with these two with these two strategies, with the the warehouse here for the locally for the locally uh, in Dallas uh, customers, yes, and from Mexico or, or direct factory programs to our customers that are outside the uh, and in different parts of the of the country. No, mm. one of the important things that maybe uh, are the, the the next steps is the factory that the tire direct is made in Mexico, no, because part of the work that we are doing here is to find those customers. So we will have we will have now the the opportunity to have one brand made in Mexico. Yeah, that's huge. Man. That's yes. so huge. Again, I don't wanna say I mean my wife's Chinese guys, trust me, I love the Chinese brands and all the guys, but I mean having a factory in Mexico, I, I, I come from Chihuahua, so there's a continental tire plant mm -hmm. uh, in Chihuahua and I haven't been able to get a tour, but uh, I've been to some factories in China and just knowing that there's going to be one opening in, in Mexico and that, you know, it's so close, honestly, it kind of makes me very excited. Uh, I'm very happy for, for, for Tire Direct for you guys. Um, I think that's really uh, a good opportunity. So, you know, I'm very looking for that future. Oh, thank you. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's uh, again uh, very very exciting. I think that's next level, guys. Like I think that's, I think you can't get higher than that. Like in the tire <laughs> industry, like what else? You start with the tire shop, then you eventually grow into a wholesaler, maybe e-commerce and everything else. Then you maybe start doing your own molds and start carrying your private label brand. But then once you're like factory level, man, you're like. <laughs> Now you could have maybe rubber plantations, or I don't know, but it's it's impressive. I mean, that's yes. extremely impressive. Yes, it, it, this is some of the things that Gonzalo made. No, that it's yeah. as I told you, no, yeah. it's, uh, all, all all the business. No, they yeah. have in Mexico more than fifty trailers too, only to. <laughs> So the, the transportation wow. business now is with the, almost with a the, logistics company. Exactly, right? the logistics yep. company. They, he has the logistics company too because he moved one thousand five hundred containers a month. So you have to, man. It's cheaper to just have your own logistics company. Exactly. Too. So he has logistics. Yeah. He has warehouse. He has the now the factory. You know, so yeah, it's, that's huge. It's really, is a, and I and I think that you are going to interview him. In yeah, Mexico yeah, I'm too. excited. I know, guys. Again. I'm, You'll see this video first, um, and hopefully, you know, if the, the schedules permits, obviously I'm available, but if, uh, hopefully the schedules permit, I will be having a tour. I'll be flying over to Tire Direct. Yep. I've heard that it's a very big warehouse, um, and so I'm excited for that, and then we'll get to also hopefully meet and get to hear Gonzalo's story, because I personally don't know it, uh, but, uh, you know, I'll leave it for the podcast. I want to, like... <laughs> kind of hear it from from, yeah. from him. No, it's a great guy. So you are going to enjoy the interview. Yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, I I really again appreciate so much uh, the time, the hospitality. You guys have a beautiful conference room. The shop is clean. I mean, you were busy, and you you guys still made time for me. I really really appreciate it. We're gonna be leaving your guys' info in the description as well. Um, definitely very excited for what you guys have. You know, for the future. And anytime, guys, again, I know a lot of you guys already reach out to me to buy tires, you know, from overseas, from, you know, you're starting your business, your tire shop, your wholesale business. Um, you know, definitely that is definitely a good option. Uh, feel free to reach out to me or, again, we'll be leaving your guys' contact info below. Uh, but, again, I, 
I appreciate so much the time and, and thank you, man, for, no for the time. No <laughs> problem. It's a pressure. Man. Thank you, thank you. No, no, thank you. Thank you for thank being here. It's a pleasure to, to work with you. Uh, congratulations for uh, all you are doing. No? You are doing a great job, too. No? Thank and, you, thank you. And a lot of successful with your your uh, system yeah. too no yeah, yeah, yeah. Know it's a great system <laughs> right now right now tire base is the only sponsor we have in the video so that's why i have to mention them uh okay. so every time because they pay sometimes for the editor for the flights my goal is to eventually have other companies other than tire base for the youtube channel mm -hmm. so that i'm not always mentioning tire base but uh you know who knows maybe one day nat can Probably. sponsor one Probably. podcast or yeah yeah but uh, again guys thank you so much uh and it was a pleasure Again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you.